It's time! All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the whip pass that comes from him throwing that kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just then. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. A beautiful body kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That punch no good. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, 
beautiful punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice. Some nice back and forth action here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch to see. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Way to hide that leg kick. What a punch. 20 seconds left. Tags him with the overhand. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Big knee to the body. Oh. Beautiful kick. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Nice straight punch. Single collar tie. And they separate. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done, more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. He has now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Punch over the top. What body by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. That knee might have landed there. Man, those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. 
Just over three minutes to go in round two. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at the turtle in that kick. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right hand punches the clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this round. He could never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Battle for position here. Slips that left hand. Right hand on point. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Back to the feet now. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Throwing that jab, no good. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. So he's really starting to put together. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. He's back. Lance with the right hand. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment, he found the opening, and landed that big strike. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Fighters get up now. Great and that's gonna do it. He's done, he's done. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, 
and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO. Still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought by virtue of that TKO. Congratulations.